Centrifuge preparation. So today I'm going to show you how to use the centrifuge. You want to make sure that you open up the lid, make sure that nothing's in there. You want to place your specimens into the machine. You want to make sure that you have an even amount of numbers of specimens. You cannot have an odd number. It has to be an even number of specimens. You turn the machine on and then it starts spinning. All right. So you always want to make sure you have an even amount of specimens. You cannot have three because that's considered an odd number. Three is not allowed. If you have an odd number of specimens, it could cause the machine to shake. It could cause the specimens to be ruined. So you don't want that to happen. So you as the tech should know how to use this. You cannot only have only one specimen. Even if the doctor or nurse had told you to go ahead and draw the person's blood and only needed one tube. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna improvise. You're gonna take an empty tube, an ETS tube. This is typical practice at a lot of places. You wanna go ahead and place water inside the tube, as you can see here. And then you're gonna go ahead and place it in the machine. This should be able to do the do. All right, so now the machine is balanced. You have two specimens in there right across from each other, as you can see. All right, so the this specimen, if it's going in the centrifuge, it should always be across from each other. And there, there's the special containers, which you're actually supposed to actually put the specimen into the containers. And this is how you use a centrifuge machine.